thought that I would make a video today of me clown checking myself as I talk to you guys. So it's like clown check. I look so bad right now. I'm actually like low key really sick. I have a fever. Bruh. Before Avani, Greg would have over 600,000 followers on Twitter, 6.7 million followers on Instagram, over half a million subscribers on YouTube, and over 16 million followers on TikTok at the time of this recording. Before Avani, Greg would strike up a relationship with Sway House member Anthony Reeves. Before Avani, Greg would be cast in the newest season of the Brat TV series, Chicken Girls. Congratulations. You made the squad. <gasps> Welcome to cheerleading. Chill, we're leaving. Cheerleading does seem pretty cool. We're officially approaching critical mass when it comes to the endless stream of dance clips and lip sync videos that TikTok provides to us on the daily. But some artists on the platform, they're still finding unique ways to break the mold and stand out. And Ivani Gregg, well, she's definitely one of those artists. Ivani's videos, they stand apart from the rest due to her incredible sense of style, her playful personality, and the creative spin she puts on popular trends. Her 2019 clown check video, it launched her to infamy and it earned her over 3 million followers in only a couple of weeks. All for doing this. TikTok has provided an outlet for Ivani to show off her talented makeup skills, but are her check clown videos the only real reason she's so popular? Well, that's what we're gonna find out today. What's going on guys, it's your boy Michael McCretton back at it again with another Before They Were Famous video with another member of the Hype House. I mean, is that still even a thing? Now we've recently dropped some videos on Addison Rae as well as uh, Charlie D'Amelio. We haven't done her sister Dixie, but we did do Little Huddy, a video which no one seems to care about. Anyways, you guys gotta let us know who's next in the comments down below. Now let's get into the rise of Avani Craig. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Avani Gregg was born in Brownburg, Indiana on November 23rd, 2002. Now her father is of African American and Mongolian descent, while her mother Anisha, she is Indian. Now Avani, she grew up in an Indian household alongside her two sisters, Priya and Shanti, who is a bit of a social media darling in her own right. Avani started training as a gymnast at a very young age of four years old. Now she made it all the way to the top level of 10, but she eventually had to call it quits after breaking her back. Now, despite being candid about going through the injury, well, she's been somewhat hesitant when it comes to talking about what actually caused it. So we were competing for a level nine and I stress fractured my back. And then they told me not to compete anymore, but I didn't want to do that, so then I kept competing. And then I actually like really, really injured it. So then I was like, I can't do that anymore. But it, it got me here. I, if I was still in gymnastics, I'd be back in Indiana. Looking to find a new passion, well, Ivani, she hopped on the social media bandwagon in 2016 at the age of just 14. Now she started by making lip sync and dance videos, which was on Musical.ly at the time, RIP. While over on the gram, well, she was dropping a ton of crazy makeup images like this one, and this one, and this one. Yeah, there's a bunch. Fuck this. Fuck. Did you see this? Look at the this. Father, so, think of the child. I, uh, I don't know about you guys, but after seeing those, I might just not get to sleep tonight. That's right, I'm a sensitive soul. Now, as talented as she is, well, this wasn't something Avani was doing to find fame. It was just a way to release her content and have a bit of fun. Now, eventually, musically, it made the change to TikTok and the unique nature of her makeup videos on this platform, well, it helped her stand apart from everyone else. I gotta admit, when starting to work on this video, seeing a faithful representation of Deadite straight out of the Evil Dead, well, it's just not what I was expecting to find. Why are you torturing me like this? Why? <laughs> As far as how her makeup process works, well, I'll let her explain. So basically for a basic like makeup video I would do, I'd find an audio and then I, whenever I do my makeup, it's kind of weird because no one really asks me like how like I put like thought into it because like I usually, there's a caption that goes with the audio and then with my makeup, I can't do my makeup unless I have a thought in my head of like something that's like going on like with me, something sad, anything, I'll put it all into like a look that's based off the audio. Couple skills like that with her relentless energy and her ability to perform gymnastic stunts and Ivani, she quickly became the go-to collaborator on the platform. But as popular as she is, well, we all know that fame, it doesn't come without its downside. 
Novani, she did her best to ignore the hate at first, but she eventually found herself replying to a lot of it. You learn to deal with a lot of the hate, but it's like really hard at the beginning and you wanna just quit social media because just one hate comment will bring you down. I still read all my hate. I still like to comment back on the hate. I'm getting better at not doing it. No one's gonna bring me down. We actually just dropped some videos on NBA Youngboy and I talked about some new merch and I'm actually terrified to read the comments. It happens to all of us. Novani, she bounced back from the hate by finding herself in an extremely loving and affectionate relationship with Sway House member and fellow influencer, Anthony Reeves. Now the two, they confirmed their relationship in December of 2019 and Anthony, well, he had previously hinted towards having feelings for Ravani. Now it appears that Anthony finally got his wish, so it must have been a pretty Merry Christmas for that guy last year. Oh, oh my, <laughs> Nick, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no, Vani, she had previously been linked to Peyton Mormimir. Mormimir? Mormimir? I'll figure out his name when we make his video. But fans all over the world, they were shipping that romance hard. <laughs> and while her fans, they may not have ended up with the power couple that they wanted, well, they did get the power couple that they deserved. Yeah, I bet you didn't think I could find a way to make a Dark Knight reference in a TikTok video not once, but twice. Guess what? It happened. And to be honest, huh, it kind of even thematically fits. Now speaking to Holly Wire, well, Ivani, she had this to say. I'm known for a clown check video that blew up. It hit 80 million views and it kept trending. I was known as clown girl. Not really a good thing to be known for, but that's fine. I understand I have really cool makeup in it, so it's okay. Now the fame that comes with primarily being recognized as a clown, well, it can affect your life, like a lot. Just ask Joaquin. I think that we've become very disconnected from the natural world. And many of us, what we're guilty of is an egocentric worldview, the belief that we're the center of the universe. Damn, man, clown thoughts are deep thoughts, you know? Anyway, Avani, she wasn't immune to changes of her own. Now, after blowing up, she had to quit her day job as a lifeguard. I haven't had any, well, I've had like a few people, like I had to quit my lifeguarding job at this pool because like people were coming up to me and stopping, and like asking for pictures as I was like guarding. So I was like, okay, I can't do that. I can't be bringing, like people would only come to that pool just to see me. So it's really weird. She quickly jumped from one job to another, throwing herself wholeheartedly into her TikTok career and helping found the Hype House where influencers such as Chase Hudson and Charlie D'Amelio work and live, or at least they did. But much like fellow founder Addison Rae Willavani, she didn't actually live at the residence. She stated, I don't like live here because mm -hmm. I wouldn't do my homework if I was here. <laughs> Avani's also making plans for the future. Now she's hoping to launch her own makeup career by expanding her brand on social media. Also reaching out to other celebrities to help them with their makeup. So expect a collaboration with James Charles coming soon, if it hasn't happened already. So cool. What about any female celebrities you'd want to do makeup for? Yeah. Billie Eilish. <laughs> yes. So I'd, she, I'd be down to do her makeup. <laughs> she is such a queen. I feel like you could do some cool music video makeup for Billie mm -hmm. Eilish. Her ambitions, they don't stop there either. Now, once she's overtaken all of your social media feeds, well, Ivani is gonna make the hop to the silver screen or at least the television screen. Now, after getting signed to Abrams Artist Agency, well, Ivani, she landed her first big role in the TV series, Chicken Girls, which IMDb, it tells me, it's a show about best friends who wanna dance forever, which sounds directly on point for her brand. Now, Vani, she's also already found a way to capitalize on her worldwide appeal by opening her own online shop on Depop. This is where she sells off a lot of apparel, which she wears during her TikTok videos. Yeah, she's probably making a fortune. So is Vani more than just hashtag clown check? I'd say yes. The girl obviously has mad skills when it comes to painting up her face, and that talent alone will take her far. But when you couple that with her dancing abilities, her infectious enthusiasm, her down-to-earth personality, and ever-increasing media presence, well, it's pretty easy to see that, uh, well, this girl's gonna find some serious success. Plus, she got started really, really young, so good for her. And no lie, well, her makeup posts, they're mad good. I'm a bit of a fan. There's something weird about TikTok. It really sucks you in. As soon as I open the app, I feel like an hour's passed and just watched a ton of stuff, Avani included. Anyway, before we wrap up this video, I wanna tell you guys about our newly launched merch store. It's at michaelmccrudden.com, and on there we have all sorts of merch. We have new things being created that we'll be adding in the coming days and weeks. But for now, there is a t-shirt about me losing a few pounds that you guys can help me out with. If you buy one of those, well, everyone who buys one, I'm gonna lose a pound. So I might turn into the machinist by the end of it, 
But you know, well, let's see how it goes. Also, there's some of the brand stuff and we're working on new designs, some really funny stuff in my inbox that we'll be posting soon. So be sure to check that out. As for the rest of the story, well, I guess we're gonna have to wait and see because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrenn. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and uh, check out this other video we have for you. I think it's Addison Ray, because if you like this one, you're gonna wanna check that one out. You know what to do. See you guys in another video. Boom!